It is a race that's being watched statewide, the race for House District 121, one of the most hotly contested races of the primary season. Incumbent Joe Strauss taking on two challengers who say the Speaker of the House isn't conservative enough. Tim Gerber caught up with all three candidates as they spent the final hours of the campaign making a final pitch to voters. Feeling good. There's a very large turnout here today, which I think is good for our party. Joe Strauss camped out at the Brook Hollow Public Library where there were long lines of voters throughout the day. Strauss has been in office since 2005. He's been speaker since 2009. In this cycle, he's facing a tough challenge from Jeff Judson. Strauss dipping into his large campaign war chest to fight the battle on the airwaves, and it's been a nasty fight. I think some, some voters will, you know, believe the negative advertising, but I'm confident that most of them will not. They'll see through the fog and the smoke. And they'll see that there's a record of achievement and accomplishment uh, and leadership that I'm proud of. But people are getting out and voting for change. They're not voting for the status quo. Jeff Judson spent his afternoon greeting voters over at Wetmore Elementary School, trying to convince them to choose him and the change he's fighting for, making the case that Strauss isn't conservative enough. There's a disconnect between he and the governor and the lieutenant governor in the Senate. I don't think it's it, that the, our district does very well either. I think we would fare better. In the legislature with somebody who worked better within the Republican Party. We're really pleased with the turnout, but we need more people to vote. Sheila Bean also spending her afternoon at Brook Hollow Library making her case to voters. She also believes Strauss doesn't have the conservative credentials most voters desire. The local teacher acknowledged she's been fighting an uphill battle to get her message across. Combating against the millions, four million dollars that he's brought out is a matter of just spending the time and effort to talk to people one on one. And I've had hundreds of people come by here and say, wow, you came by my house. You were the person at my front door, and that made the difference. And we are live right now at the Brook Hollow branch of the San Antonio Public Library, where it is very active. All three candidates for House District 121 still out here trying to make their last minute pitches to voters. And there are quite a few voters still here, a long line stretching out into the parking lot. All the candidates uh, greeting them as they hop out of their car. It's almost like a mob, everybody trying to get them to vote for them. From here, they'll all be heading out to their uh, election night watch parties. We're going to do some party hopping throughout the night, and we'll bring you sound or an interview and reaction from the winner. Tonight on the Night Beat, reporting live from the North Side, Tim Gerber, KSAT 12 News.